Hello and good morning, everyone. Good morning, you guys. I have the shirt. Oh my goodness, it's a vacation day. It is time to go on a vacation. That is the official kickoff to every family what vacation. What am I gonna do? What if I spill red punch down it one day? You guys, if gone. you've been here for a while and you know that when you see this shirt, it means vacay time, I want you to smash that like button because I have a feeling a lot of you have become very familiar with this shirt as it goes on every travel with us to kick off day one, which is where we're at today. It is day one. It is day one. It is time to load the car up, to get ready, enjoy the long, 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 long it's about a nine-hour drive, and there is one section of road that I think it actually says no more gas or rest stops for like 250 miles. It might not be that long. It's but like it is about three hours, I remember. It. With I remember right. nothing. It is like, we'll show it to you because we're going to go through it right now. But first, kids just got home from school. The way we're timing this is that we're trying to go pretty quickly after they get out of school because, as you know, they don't have school on Fridays. So we can extend this by an extra day plus the holidays. So we got four days we can take advantage of. In order to do that, we wanted to leave after school on Thursday, but we yep. do still have an orthodontist appointment for Rye Guy. He's got to run off to that. I'm going to get everything packed up as well as I can. Although mom's usually the one who really tetrises it in and gets it to fit just right. Yeah. I'll do the heavy lifting. You do the thinking. Perfect team. That's where we're at right now. He just got home. They're getting changed. They're getting ready to go. We're going to load all of this into the car. We've got bags, bags, Which bags. Actually not that much. I'm proud of us. I have to say I'm pretty surprised. Like I was like, where's the well, rest of it? I'm like, we're going to go swim. Water's so cold. We're not going to be in the water all day. And then at night it gets very chilly. Stuff, long pants, jackets, Hoodies tennis and pants shoes. for nighttime. It's a variety of outfit selections that you need in a place like Lake Tahoe because you do go everywhere from like 80 Fives during the day to pretty chilly at night. Probably four days at night. But it is going to be the most incredible experience. We've got this beautiful house right by the water, and we have a lot of fun activities on tap. So you're gonna want to be with us for every single minute of this journey. Fry Guy's got his personal secret bag packed over there. That's what I'm talking about. Ready to rock vacation yeah. style. I've got a bunch of GoPro stuff over there. I'm gonna try and condense some of that yeah, into I that bag. Yeah, I is single-handedly keeping GoPro in business, buying all of their cameras, bags, all the Anything accessories. Anything they make, I like to buy the day it comes out because it's that good. I actually kind of want one of those double bags. They're incredible. Yeah, it's really cool looking. And we've got these, a lot of snacks, some groceries, things for the house. You guys normally see us do suitcases. That's like typically across board what we do if we're flying. But we have the little thing on top of the van. I just feel like these just bend and mold and squish and move better. Up I think there. you're absolutely right. I think that's genius. I think these will squish at the top of the van very easily. Suitcases a little bit better suited for airplane rides. So we're going to get all of this loaded into the car and get on the road here in just a minute. We teased this a little bit yesterday, but we hadn't fully tested it or tried it out. We got a new DVD player in the car. We wanted to see if we could hook up the switch to it because for the first time we've got an HDMI port on the DVD player. We came out here, messed around with it a little bit. Didn't work at first, but bring in technical engineer Rai Guy over here. Let me just show you what we'll be doing on our road trip here. We are going to be doing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tournaments right here in the back. Oh, we've yeah, got controllers for everybody and it actually works. Hazy, hey, look, you can play your Princess Unicorn game up here. You can play Mario Kart, anything you want. Is that going to be awesome? Yesterday, Hazy girl was riding her scooter and fell on her face. Look at that owie on her nose. Oh my goodness, it is looking so beautiful. Just like you. An amazing hack mom just came up with. We've been road tripping for a while. How did we just figure this out? I've seen people do this whenever they travel. They get these big bins, which I actually had a couple left over from us doing our organization down in the cold storage. I just put stuff in here. I always put food in bags and then it gets stepped on and smushed. And the really nice part is they stack high. You can just put a couple in here. What I think is incredible is that they are the exact size of the opening. So you set one down in here. It is literally end to end. We can stack them up and across and then you don't have the bags rolling around everywhere. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Oh, hi crew. <laughs> I'm marveling at this packing job right now. Now, of course, the car topper helps quite a bit of luggage up there, but this might be the least we've ever had stacked back here with room to spare. These bins, huge lifesavers. In the past, like mom said, we would just kind of put all the stuff in here, including life jackets. What that amounted to was like 20, 30 trips to the car for me whenever we arrived at whatever the destination was, just load after load of just whatever you could manage in your hands. Now, it's just a handful of bins that stack nicely, neatly, walk them right into the house, and we're there, which is good because we're gonna be getting in pretty late tonight. Just finished up our first of what I'm assuming will be a few potties stops and that was here at the home but it's now time to hit the road we got about nine hours to tahoe that's not including breaks but we should be getting there sometime late tonight checking into our house you guys ready to go yeah Woo! We 
are heading into the pretty much great wide open nothing we have left officially Salt Lake City. If you guys are wondering how to have a successful road trip with a bunch of kids for long distances, you gotta load them up with snacks, some Nintendo Switches, grab bag of goodies. If you wanna know more, you guys, mom actually posted a video on her personal channel, Mindy's Best. It goes over all the stuff that we have packed for this trip to have a successful drive out there to Lake Tahoe today. And as you can see, the kids are doing really well. Starting off, of course, with Switches. We got a brand new game for everybody to play so they don't lose the attention on that one quickly. And then as those things kind of start to wear down, we've got a bag full of fun stuff, coloring, puzzles, books, DVDs, the works, you guys. All the things you're gonna need to have a fun and safe trip. Still keep your sanity as parents up here in the front seat. That is critical because we are going into miles and miles, and I mean hundreds of miles of pretty much nothing as you look out either direction. We're actually gonna be going by the Salt Flats, the Great Salt yes, Lake the and the Salt Flats. Flats. That's kind of cool. Looks like it's snow off to the side. Mom mentioned we should probably try and do like a day trip to the Salt Flats and like take out the one wheel. That'd just so go fun. do some fun videos out there. Okay, smash the like one if you'd like to see that or comment below because that could be a fun little day trip after the kids get out of school where we come out to the Salt Flats just have some fun and party out there. Crew actually just mentioned he could bring a dirt bike out. That would look pretty rad out on the Salt Flats because it's like just flat for as far as you can see. It looks like you're on like the surface of the moon or something. It's just crazy. So that could be a fun one, you guys. About 540 miles to go. So buckle up. We're on our way. It's the lotion one? That's the one you wanted. This is Hazy's first blind bag of the trip, you guys. We're gonna try and do one, what, every couple hours, maybe? We got four of them in here. She waits patiently, and then she gets to choose one of these white bags. She doesn't know what's in it. Gets to take it. What? I didn't get my toy one. I know, so now next time, on the next time at 4.30, you get to open another one, and maybe your toy will be in that one. Maybe you can put some lotion on it, and we'll make the car smell really yummy. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good first one. I love it, Hazel. Blind bag thing, you guys, is something that mom, I don't know, did you invent that or did you see it on Pinterest or where did I you get it? I saw it on Pinterest. Either. It was years ago she did that and it was such a hit with the kids. We actually had blind bags for all the kids. That's what we call them. They're just like bag that you can't see through. She just collects a bunch of things from like the dollar store, the dollar section of Target, it's just kind of random whatever, but it keeps the kids' attention and anticipation building towards that next one and it breaks up the trip for them because you can't just say, you've got nine hours left and then they just go, okay, I'll ask again in nine hours. They're but asking. I feel like it also helps with their behavior. Here. It's good for a lot of reasons. Huge hit with the kids on that one. Now these kids have gotten a little bit older for some of those dollar things. I think we just did it for Hazy this time. Sure enough, the entire time she's been asking, is it time to get the prize bag yet? It's time to get the prize bag. And instead of saying, are we there yet? You have to say, no, we're not there yet for nine hours. You can say, no, it's not time for your prize bag yet. You've got 20 minutes. So it breaks it up a little bit better. She's been so good, she's opened another baggie. What do we got, Hazy? <gasps> oh, a fun notebook. Is that good? Does it come with anything to write in it? I have a pen for you. We got a pen, you want a pen? You can do some drawing? Okay. <laughs> We are about halfway through the trip here, making our very first stop, you guys. I gotta say, I am very proud of the kids, very proud of the entire family. It's gone incredibly well so yeah, far. Yeah, it's gone really awesome. We've been making some good time. The fact that we are halfway in, like four plus hours yeah, into this, and this is our five. first rest stop, absolutely incredible. We haven't had to stop before this. Kids have been doing really well on potty We've breaks. Been We've been doing great on snacks. I'm gonna need to stop for food. First stop halfway through, I gotta say, huge success so far. Loaded back into the car, ready to finish and conquer the second half of this trip. This is the part where it really goes into nowhere, you guys. If you thought the first part was a little sparse on scenery, it's about <laughs> to get worse. But we do have a ton of fun to be had. We got our snacks. We are loaded. We've freshly potty, which I'm sure you guys wanted to know. Now I'm gonna drink more. But now we picked up a couple of drinks, so that might not be our last stop. We'll see how it goes. But back on the road, headed to Tahoe, making great time.
Hazy's last bag, you guys. We are about 30 miles out of Reno right now. Getting very close, making great time. An hour left. What's the last one? Toy Story Bo Peep. I love it. I think there's two in there. There's two in there? Oh, is there another one in that bag? Mm, yes, it's Forky. Are you serious? Forky too? Yeah. <laughs> that is fantastic, you guys. That is the last bag that she will open before we arrive. I gotta say, I might jinx it, but there's only an hour left, so I don't want to say what could go wrong, because I don't want to say that. But the kids have been amazing. They've amazing! Been really good. Literally, it has been such a breeze. They've been so well behaved. They've been sharing. They've been kind. They've been playing together nicely. Like, it is very common for there to be issues and problems, and sometimes you regret even leaving your house. But this has not been one of those times. The kids no, have been, been great. Pretty good. And on top of that, we have not made any additional stops the entire time. So we are going to be looking at an arrival time of 8.40. That's 20 minutes before 9. We have made up some serious time on the road here and made no stops along the way. Remarkable trip, you guys. Sun is setting. It's going to be dark very soon. We're just about to hit Reno, and then it's a short trip of windy roads down into Lake Tahoe, and we will be there checking into our home tonight. We have arrived. We found the place. It was pitch black pulling in. It's so really We dark couldn't even video our arrival because we missed the house. We came back out around. It's got a gate off the main road into like a little driveway parking lot type thing. Yeah. Finally found it. We're just getting settled in. The place is a massive. It's the kids are choosing their rooms. Cabin. Very rad, like super old school vibe, but it's kind of fun. We're going to get the car unpacked, get the kids settled in, find their bedrooms. There's only like what, nine bedrooms here? Only nine bedrooms. That is how you survive a road trip with five kids. We only had four though. There is one more tip, I'll say one more tip to surviving a road trip with five kids. So the last tip, we forgot the very last tip on the it's how important. to survive a road trip with five kids. Send one of them with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we got Maddie, we got Dan and Shell. They were kind enough to bring her up. This is going to be so much fun, you guys. She was a handful. We sent oh the gosh. hardest, most difficult so child. So potty breaks. <laughs> I will say though, how many stops did you guys make? Two. Two. Okay, that's not bad, but it's twice as many as we took. <laughs> we only had one stop the entire time. Could not be more impressed with the kids. But you guys, we are going to get ourselves in the house, into bed. We've got a full day of fun tomorrow. We're going to be doing some jet skiing. We're going to go tour the south side of the lake. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> I'm loopy. Everybody's very tired. Very long drive. But you guys, Maddie, of course, is here. We had so many questions about that on Instagram, and I wanted to reply, but I had to surprise everybody with this big, ah. epic reveal. Maddie is, of course, here. Dan and Shell as well, taking some stunning <laughs> photography, some cinematic footage over on their channel. But we are going to get into bed, ready for an amazing day tomorrow. I'm go tuck him in. Tuck the old man in. We will see you guys for a full day of fun on the lake. That's the lake right there, next to the street. Tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 Hello and good morning! From North Shore of Lake Tahoe, you guys. You could not see this earlier because it was so dark, but here is where it's we are so staying. Pretty. Beautiful, 360 degrees of beauty. Absolutely stunning beauty everywhere you look. So dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, the lake is calling us. It is just out there. We are on the North Shore. Hello? I Mindy, think I just heard it. Mindy, do your best because your best <laughs> is enough. You guys, check out my video. Just that upload it. In fact, it's all about how we made it here in one piece without throwing any kids out the car on the way. I Mom showed you how. Out, but... Well, yeah, that's a given. <laughs> we woke up early this morning. I sent the drone out to kind of get a lay of the land here. It is gorgeous, stunning scenery here on the North Shore. But to start things off, we're going to shake it up. We're going down south. We got love with the south side. We're going to the south shore of Lake Tahoe to start our day. Because yep. we want to go do a jet skiing tour of Emerald Bay, do some paddle boarding. There's some great restaurants down there. So we're going to spend the day on the south side and then we'll spend the rest of the time up here on the north. Super stoked to just take in all the beauty that there is here, everything that this lake has to offer.
is all happening very, very fast. We had heard that if we wanted to do jet skis, the only thing you could do is come in and get on a first come first serve basis with it being the holiday weekend in an afternoon on South Lake Tahoe, chances were slim we could get four jet skis. We walked in, she says, if you want to go right now, I can get you on four. There won't be any available later this afternoon, but if you want to go now, you can grab them now. So we are sunscreening up, signed all the waivers. We're heading out onto the jet skis, heading over to Emerald Bay. Literally, once we get on them, we can absolutely go anywhere we want in the lake. There are no zones, there's no restrictions. It is just get out there and have fun. So we are so pumped. We've got four on standby, but I think our clock, our timer has already started on our two hours. We've got to get out to the water. We got all the waivers filled out. We've heard the safety briefing. We know exactly what we're doing. We've got our four sick machines. They are powerful and fun. We're going to cruise out of here, out of this, and over to Emerald Bay, one of the most photographed locations in the world, definitely here in Lake Tahoe. So Emerald Bay, just that way. Like an eight mile ride on the jet skis. We're going to go over there, hang out. There's a little mini floating island in the middle. But I'm going to tuck this camera away while we get out there on the water, switch to the GoPro right now. Got my new GoPro waterproof bag and I put that to the test as well. We're loading up on jet skis and we're heading out right now. Daniel and Ryan, the first ones out. Michelle and Brex right here. Mom and crew over there. Dad's on this one. Cruising in the no wake zone. It's a long journey off the shore till you get out into the actual lake. This big like boating channel right here. So we're going through these red and green buoys out into the open. Then we're gonna jet this way to Emerald Bay. We're gonna try and pick up Maddie and Hazy down there on that dock. It's very hard to go this slow. <laughs> clear right here. All right, I gotta go see if I can go get Maddie and Hazy. We are just out here chilling and it is so crystal clear see-through. You can see where it drops off. You've got the see-through to the lake's bottom right here and then immediately it is deep dark blue where it just drops off. This is incredibly crystal clear water right here, you guys. On our way to Emerald Bay right now, just having a lot of fun, ripping it out here, catching some air with these guys. Yeah. These guys are savages. But now we're going from the shallow to the deep. Let's do it. Dude, look at this, we're kicking up waves, look, boom. <laughs> Switching up, putting crew we do in the driver's seat here. Bro, take us to Emerald Bay. Woo! <laughs> Kruby at the mouth, the entrance to Emerald Bay. Got this incredible little stick out right there. Rocks, trees, forest right up to the water's edge. We're about to go in there right now. See what this hyped, beautiful piece of nature is all about. Why it's so famous, why everything is so beautiful. It is a little bit hazy today, so can't see it quite as clear as you can see. Very popular place to be. Boats coming in and out all over the place. We're gonna head into the no wake zone right now. You can do circles around this little island in the middle, but you gotta go counterclockwise. Everyone's going the same direction, guys.
coming into Emerald Bay. This is the part where you can just stop, get out. We might do a little bit of a swim. You can see it is very hazy cover back there. It's kind of like killing the awesome vibe of that like sheer cliff side up there. I don't know if we're gonna go all the way to that floating island. It would be dope, no lie. But you have to go no wake. So it's so slow and it takes so long. It takes up so much of our time. We have these for two hours. We've already been out over an hour on them. So we wanna go have some more fun ripping it out there before we have to take them back. Crew, you been having fun, dude? Oh yeah. You wanna get in this water? Oh yeah. I say we get in it, dude. <laughs> you guys are so synchronous. Crazy that the water is darker over here, but it is still just as clear. Yeah, I can look, see straight through life. it, you guys. That is incredible how clear this is all the way down. Just that the bottom kind of a ways down. That's why you can't see anything. Hey Z! Hey Z! Hey Z! Hey Z! <laughs> Mandy! Oh, Man oh! <laughs> I thought oh my gosh! Is it it cold? Is a little stuck. <laughs> Alright guys, doesn't get much better than this. Swimming in the crystal blue water. Crisp, delicious. Agua of Emerald Bay. Delicious. Hi guys, it was that a fun tour of Emerald Bay? Yes, it was amazing. That, Beautiful. Absolutely incredible. I love you guys. Can we head back? Let's go back. We just got off the lake. What did you think? Was that pretty freaking awesome? So pretty rad? So fun. Real. So fun. It was pretty cool. It's like magnificent. <laughs> it was freaking epic, you guys. Honestly, <laughs> I have a feeling. My mouth. I feel like jet skis, it wave runners fabulous. are kind of like our thing. Like I feel like we've done them everywhere. <laughs> we've done them in Aruba. Oh, we did yeah. them here. Oh, we did yeah. them like, remember that time in Aruba, guys? Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. All of us have done it. We've all done it in Aruba. Oh, it was man. amazing. Oh wait, mom didn't do it. Aruba she was, was the best because I didn't have to worry about my stuff on the shore. That was actually really nice. I feel like I would take Aruba over this any day. So anyone who did Aruba. I think crew nailed it best. He said, I think anything with a handlebar and a throttle is my thing. That's what crew said. We were in our element out there, but our other element, you know us and follow us. Eating. Is eating, <laughs> is food. So next up, we gotta find a place to eat, guys. We skipped lunch to get out on those wave runners, so we gotta go find a place to eat right now. It's a late lunch, early dinner. We'll probably do another one later. But next up, we gotta eat. The only requirement the mom has had on this trip, and I frankly have to agree with her, that when we eat, it must be on the water or at least near water where you can see it. So we're not exactly on the water, but just where we dropped off the jet skis right over there. I've been told this place is dope Greek food, so we're gonna give it a shot. Legally here, you have to sit at two separate tables though if you have a party larger than eight, and because we are a traveling family of nine, it's gonna put us at two different tables wherever we eat. But don't worry, we're close by. Got the kids over there, everyone else right here. Just leaving that restaurant, I gotta say, lived up to the hype. That was it delicious. It was actually really good. I don't know that I've had Greek food in like. I don't know that you maybe ever have, but honestly, it was the physically closest eating location to the water. So we got off the water, went right there to eat. It was absolutely delicious. But now eating's not done. Of course it's not. You gotta have dessert, you guys. We found a delicious ice cream joint nearby. It has rolled ice cream. You can do it with waffle cones. What we wanted to do, the yes. plan for tonight, was to go watch the sunset in Emerald Bay. We found these incredible, stunning pictures online. That'd be awesome. Turns out that was the sunrise. The sunset's on the other side. So we're looking at the sun going down we're like wait a minute how is that gonna work i don't think we're gonna be able to catch that yeah no that's in the morning gotta get it very very early come down here we're not gonna probably see that so we're gonna maybe grab some ice cream see if we can find a place to watch the sunset on the east side of the lake we're finishing up the night with some ice cream and potentially a nice sunset yes. 
came here to Aloha Ice Cream. Seems to be a pretty popular joint. Lots of people here right now. We're trying out rolled ice cream for the first time. Never had rolled ice cream. The plan is, is if we're lucky, we can grab our ice cream, go across the street to the lake. You're kind of up high. Then the sun is setting just over there. So I might be able to snag the sunset with some ice cream lakeside, just like we wanted. Just had to switch up the plan a little bit when we realized in Emerald Bay, sun rises, not sets. I guess the sun sets and rises in Emerald Bay. <laughs> insane just across the street from that ice cream joint there is a wooden staircase that takes you down shore side perfect view of the sunset this could not be more amazing more perfect more picturesque perfect way to finish the day This day has just completely flown by, almost escaped us. We had planned to do some jet skiing as part of the day and paddle boarding for the other part. By the time we got on the jet skis, got out there, got our full two hours in back in. We were hungry, so we ate, and now the sun is setting. Just a full, full day of fun, but it's crazy how fast they fly by, how quickly you're on to the next day. So today's gonna wrap up here. We've got parasailing on tap for tomorrow. Sunday is kind of an open day right now. We're gonna maybe do like a catamaran tour, maybe just get like a pontoon boat, just go head out into the water, just explore and take it easy. This day has been the perfect kickoff, the perfect start. It's been an amazing weekend. Hazy girl, is this a beautiful sunset? What color is it? <laughs> Kids are out here skipping rocks. Daniel's getting some epic footage. Michelle's taking some amazing pictures. Mom's doing some crazy rad Insta stories. Ragai got a new background for his phone with this sunset. I told him it looked like he could have bought it from a wallpaper yes. store. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that I is gorgeous. You took that. On your phone was of your mom. No way. Sunsets are way better than no. mom's. Just waiting for it to dip right behind those mountains. Kiss the lake for the last time and send us off into another day. I'm not even it's going to amazing. readjust so you can see us. Who wants to look at us when you can see this back there? It's not the perfect finish to the perfect first day here it in Tahoe. It was an awesome day. Today flew by though, which makes me sad because the next few days are gonna fly by. That's too. exactly what I just said earlier. Like we had all of these plans, the day just came and went, and we did a ton. We packed a lot of fun in, we had delicious food, fun on the water, but it goes by quick, guys. So we gotta take advantage of every second of every day we've got here. This one's about to end, sun's fun. going away right now. Yeah. Many, many more fun days to come. Let's turn around and enjoy the sunset. Alright, let's do it. Back of the pad, back of the house, chilling on the deck, winding down the perfect day. It was a perfect day. It really was from start to finish. I didn't even feel like we did that much. I am so tired. It does not feel like we did nearly as much as we had set out to do. We had a plan to get so much more done and it just flew. Tomorrow, yeah. the plan is parasailing in the afternoon. We're gonna try and do some stand up paddleboarding as well. We're gonna leave Sunday wide open. That way, anything we don't get to do, we're gonna put into that day. We had thought about doing like a fun catamaran tour, but we just thought, you know what, let's just hang around here. Let's just unschedule that day yeah. and let's just go ahead and get everything that we wanted to do. Like maybe we go on a little hike, we paddleboard. All those things so it's not too structured smash the like button for an epic day out on lake it tahoe was a good day. make sure you guys come back tomorrow i'm a little afraid of heights i'm supposed to go parasailing we're gonna try and get everybody up there like including hazy we'll see how that goes we've signed up everyone see how that goes it should be oh, a lot of fun 800 feet above tahoe's crisp Wait, is that blue really how far it is? if you want it to be it goes anywhere from 400 to 800 but I'll obviously go, like, i'm gonna ask 15. for 800 make sure you come back tomorrow it's gonna be awesome we'll see you then good night everybody bye Hello and good morning, everyone. Good morning, once again, from the North Shore of Lake Tahoe. Today, however, we're gonna be sticking around here. We're gonna be staying yes, up here on the North Side. This is our favorite part. We went down to the South End yesterday. Had it a was ton fun. of fun. It's just a little bit of a different speed. It is, it's like a little more commercial down there, it feels like. It's still beautiful, it's still amazing. It was very busy, tons of people on Labor Day weekend out celebrating. But up here, a little slower speed, a little yeah. more laid back, kinda everything's tucked into the forest, as you can see, even we are right now. I love all the trees. Today, we have so much on tap, you guys. We've got parasailing we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be hitting up some beaches, some stand up paddle boarding. We're hoping to possibly catch the sunset from out on the water today. So awesome. stick around for a full day of action, epic adventure. But the first thing we gotta do, if you know how we bing them, start off with some food. Let's go get some breakfast.
We grabbed our acai bowls, our smoothies. We're jumping right back into the car. We're gonna go ahead to Kings Beach right now. That's where we're gonna be parasailing today. We thought maybe we just swim and hang out there until it's time for parasailing. I think that'd be fun. Maybe some paddle boarding at a beach nearby our house to finish off the night. Grabbed our delicious breakfast. We're taking it with us to go to Kings Beach. We are on Bear Street right now, making our way down to Kings Beach. It is so slammed down there right now that parking is pretty sparse. You gotta park pretty far away. But what an amazing, enjoyable walk. I'm standing in the middle of an intersection right now of Bear Street, full 360 degrees of long roads with super tall trees. Look at how picturesque this is. Everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, absolutely gorgeous. I do have to say, we've been hoping that we may see a bear safely, safely wanna see a bear, because we've been told that they're just so common in Tahoe. You can't throw you. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's me. It's me. That was a good joke. That was a good one. Follow Dan and Shell for golden comedy. There's a chance to see a bear. Maybe it's on Bear Street. You never know. By the way, you guys, make sure you're following Dan and Shell on YouTube because especially when we come on these family vacations, I've noticed that the kids are much more inclined to jump in front of Daniel's camera because they've got this one in front of their face all the time, every day for the last who knows how many years. It's not as fun as and exciting for them to jump in front of this one, but boy, if you go watch their vlogs of our same vacations, there are so many fun, genuine, golden moments of the kids just being adorable, fun, precious, hilarious. Daniel and Michelle have special way of getting them to open up on these vacations so make sure you're checking out their vlogs as well Dan and Shell on YouTube So it turns out we are not the only ones that had the idea to come to Kings Beach on Labor Day weekend. Turns out maybe half of California is here, but we're gonna chill here because our parasailing takes off from right here off of this beach. So we're gonna be here for when that happens. It's coming up in a couple of hours. We're just gonna swim, enjoy the time here, and check in for our parasailing adventure here in just a little bit. I do have to say, it is much warmer than I remember the waters being for my 40th birthday. But it's much warmer. Still cold. Still quite cold. The only real way to overcome that, to conquer that, is to go in head first. Three, Wait, two, I don't know if I want to do this. one. <laughs> it's not too bad, it's not too bad once you get in. Honestly, it got more and more shallow the more we came out, all the way until we're hazy. As hazy could stand up easily right now, clear back to the shore, and then it finally gets a little bit deeper right here. You guys probably not gonna be able to see it. That is the parasail we're going on right there, clear out there. It's red, white, and blue with like a Jolly Rogers skull and bones on it. It's pretty rad, and that's what we're gonna be doing next. <laughs> We had a bit of a mix up, thought for a moment that our parasailing tour was canceled and that called off for the day. That would have been so sad. As we walked up to this shack, so there's the North Shore and North Tahoe. I still don't know which one we're at, but I know we went to the wrong one. They're closed, out of business, they're both broken. Ours is still operating, still working. Yes. Just called, they're waiting for us. We're gonna go get on the boat right now. We're gonna get up in the air over Lake Tahoe right now. Parasailing coming up next. You ready, Rex? Yeah. We just got on the boat, we're headed out into the middle of the lake, we're seeing how this works. They jump right into it, like absolutely wasting no time, strapped two people on, they're up in the air, we're gonna rotate around the boat, each person taking a turn. We're freaking out, you guys, this is gonna be insane. I'm gonna tuck this vlog camera away for a minute, get out the GoPros, and take you up there with us. All right, Ryan Guy, you ready to send it? See you, Ryan Guy! <laughs> View, guys. Woo! Here we are, Lake Tahoe! Woo! <laughs> Honestly, really high. Like, really high. <laughs> Our boat's way down there. Oh, gosh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> then we're at least 400 feet, maybe higher. Yeah, yeah. And we're like at least 500 or 600 feet away Four. from the boat. Oh. This is so scary just looking below you. Just looking down at your feet. OMG. Baby shadow. Right. Here's our yeah. feet. We are high. This view is oh, insane. Start swinging. Gosh. No, Daniel. Daniel, no. Daniel, don't you dare. Anyone else's legs going numb? My legs are going. <laughs> I think we're going in for the dance. Oh, we're going in. Yes. 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 Oh my god. I am so cold. Oh my god. I was running on the water. Oh, it's so cold, my feet. Oh, man, they're not right, them. Really not them. Woo! Oh, it's so close. <laughs> This is awesome! We got Dan, Shell, and Raga coming in hot right now, fresh off their ride. Next up, me and Brexy Doodle and crew are gonna go take to the skies. These guys are crushing it up there. Try guy! Woo! And, oh my gosh, I'm on the end! Yeah, that's awesome. nice. We did it! Guys, rush down those steps. Don't worry. Oh, that's awesome! Raga, yes! Yes! Brexy, yes. hold on right here. Just come and sit down. Here we go. Find the right spot. Okay. Come sit, that's all you gotta do. That's what's so easy, bro. We just sit, he takes care of the rest, okay? Right? Exactly. Just relax, have fun, all right? All clicked in, everybody clicked in. Everybody's clicked in, here we go. You ready, guys? Here we go, here we go! I love you guys, here we go. It's gonna be awesome, are you ready? Oh, look, we're just chilling, not a big deal! Oh, oh boy! Here we go, homies! Oh, see ya! Rex! Brexton, you did it, and we're holding no hands! Let's go! The big oh, blue balloon! Oh my gosh! This is Ooh. insanity! Oh my gosh, you guys. Let's get ready to send it. How you feeling, Rex? You feeling good? Yeah. Guys, uh, how come this is so much more chill than in the boat? I, I feel like don't the boat. Know. Oh, 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 here we go. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, chill, 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 chill. Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, here we go. We're like far out, but he's got to get. I think they let the road out, and then we go up. I think. I think. I think. I'm up here with my boys. We are soaring hundreds of feet above the blue waters of Lake Tahoe right now. Guys, look down. This is insane. Can you believe you're doing this right now? Look at the shimmer off of the lake, Brexton says. This is the most beautiful scenery I have ever seen, and I can't think of a better, cooler way to enjoy it than with my boys up here. Guys, look at the sail, too. Oh, you can't see us behind us. Never mind, don't look over the sail. <laughs> is it pretty awesome? I can see it. Oh my gosh, that has got to be the coolest sail on all of Lake Tahoe, you guys. Look how far away the boat is from us right now. If you turn and look at the We're boat. Going down. It is so far right now. I think we go up for a while, then they do that. We're up here for like 10 minutes, bro. Oh, we, oh, here we go. So I think we're going a little bit higher. You good on that, Brex? You good? Yeah. I feel like everybody's doing pretty good. Guys, this is scenic. You do like to? Brexton, I thought that'd be the scariest thing is to look down at the water. He said it's his favorite thing to do. Holy crap, you guys are such bosses. We are at max height right now. I'm not sure, Brexy. I think they took us to the full max. I feel like we're 800 feet up, dude. What does it look like to you? I feel like I feel like we are legit 800 feet up right now. I feel like 500, 600. 600, at least 600 feet up. You know what goes the max of 800? I think like 800 is. I can't even begin to tell you how proud I am of you boys for doing these kinds of things. This is so adventurous. This I was is so, so epic. At first. And I honestly was talking to the boys about this. I think the most nerve wracking thing, the anticipation before you get on. And I knew once we got on here, once we got up here, we would be so glad we Everybody did it. Everybody like this. You're just like, I'm so nervous. And then once you go on it and then you get off and you're just like, I want to do that. Again. <laughs> I know. As soon as you get done, you're like, I'm so glad I did it. And Brexton, crew, I'm so glad you guys did this with me. This is yeah. freaking sick. I love it. Guys, we are so far away from our boat. boat. Right? <laughs> I'm on a boat. You are. We're not. We're in the sky, baby. <laughs> Wow, it's getting close. Oh, guys, we're getting close to the water here. Guys, what do you think? Are you gonna dip? You guys gonna dip? I'm gonna dip. <laughs> Dippy do! Here we go! <laughs> yeah. Woo! Woo! Ski it, baby! Wow! Yeah, let's run it! Woo! Yeah. Let's go! Woo! That, that was insane! <laughs>
<laughs> oh my gosh! Look at Rex and Rex and Scarlett! That dip was amazing! <laughs> Woo! Okay, dip, maybe coolest part. Maybe coolest part. You're freezing. Uh, yeah, afterwards, freezing. Didn't think that one through. My legs are frozen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! The dippy do! <laughs> you guys are the best people I could have possibly been on this with, you guys. I love you so much. We're beginning our descent. You can see the shadow of the parachute there. They're pulling us back in like a kite. Was that epic, you guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. I think we're ready to go back. That dip has got us pretty chilly right now. This has been one of the coolest experiences I think we've ever done together, you guys. We gotta go do this in Hawaii or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna be one of our favorites. This was awesome, you guys. Woo! I'm proud of you, buddy. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you, too. This is amazing. They just put you right back on the back of the boat. Oh my God. Woo! Yes! Yes! That was amazing! Woo! <laughs> Thank you, guys. That was incredible. That was amazing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Right after that, you guys are up. Oh, holy cow. I love you. Okay, go, go, go. I love you. I love you. I love you. Guys, here they go. Here goes Hazy, Maddie, and Mom all together. Oh, my gosh. Here they go. Hazy, I love you. You got this, beautiful. You got this. Oh my gosh, you guys, Hazy was a question mark on this one. She's only five years old. That's the youngest that they'll fly. We weren't totally sure she was gonna do it. And she is all about it. She's 100% for it. Mom's taking her up right now with the GoPro. I cannot wait to see what this ride is like for them. I'm so proud of this family right now. You guys are amazing, we love you. Hazel, I love you. We're getting all harnessed up. Hazy's getting all harnessed up. Maddie. Ah! Oh my gosh, you guys, Hazy, you're the greatest. So high up. Huh? What's going on? Like, uh, not much. How's life going Pretty instead? Good weather today. I mean, are we going to go down fast or are we going to go down slow? They take us in pretty slow. I wonder when we're like full max speed, like full max height. I mean, yeah. Okay, I, think <laughs> <laughs> I think we're reaching it. <laughs> I think we're getting there. As soon as I can see that red line, I want to get a picture of us. Guys, don't look down because you would puke. Don't look down because you would puke. It is really crazy. Creepy. <laughs> This is awesome. This is so awesome. Maddie, this is incredible. I love it. Whoa. Hey mom, we did that. There's the there's mom, the boat. We did that in Hawaii. <laughs> I know we did do that in Hawaii, huh? <laughs> Are you having fun? Can we snorkel? Yeah. yeah. Guys, it's gonna get a little faster than you got. Alright, you guys, we think that we can feel them starting to go a little bit slower, which means we'll probably be lower. And Hazy's like, my butt's gonna get wet. <laughs> Mom and Maddie going for the dip right now. Are they gonna reach the water? Oh my gosh! Oh, they dipped! They dipped! Hazy's in the water! Hazy's all over so good! I felt good! No, I'm sorry. Yeah. 
After an epic parasailing adventure, hundreds of feet, how many exactly? 800 was it? 800 feet. 800 feet, Daniel, don't correct me at all. Don't ask 800 me. feet, he's gonna give you the, what was the thing you said, like the angle of the? The trajectory. Cosine. Oh, the, what is it? What? Oh, That's what you cosine do on a, of the angle. cosine, cosine of, the angle. of the angle. Anyways, it was 800 feet, dude, we were really high. After that, we have come here to have some delicious food. We're gonna eat really quick and then we're gonna try catch the sunset via paddleboard out in the middle of the lake tonight. So that's the plan. One of one of the places that we ate last time we were here. In fact, when we came here for my 40th, we stayed right there at this high Regency right here in Incline Village and we just walked across the street first night and ate dinner over there. We're gonna go do that for dinner tonight. We find ourselves, first of all, yummy dinner, that was fun. We find ourselves in a similar dilemma that we've had last night. Dinner ends up taking a little bit. The eating portion kind of sucks up the rest of the evening. So we have found that the sun is pretty much gone. It's cloud and smoke cover right now. Mindy's throwing the hoodie on. So it's not really conducive to like a paddleboarding swimming experience. <laughs> That's Michelle, by the way. She's so dumb. You suck! <laughs> like and subscribe. You think we may just wind this night down yet again with some ice cream. Not the best situation for going out and paddleboarding. So we have the entire day tomorrow reserved for that. Dinner took a little bit longer than anticipated. Still want to slam some dessert. So we're going to grab some ice cream, see where we go from there. Finish up some delicious, hitting Maddie in the face. We just finished up some <laughs> delicious ice cream, yummy fun dinner, and a yummy. full day yummy. in Tahoe. <laughs> Make sure you come back tomorrow because tomorrow we have set aside the entire day to just chill at the beach, do some yes. paddle boarding because everyone's been clamoring for some paddle boarding. We have not been able to fit it in yet because we spent so much time eating. Oh, I love that. <laughs> we gotta cut back on the eating so we can get out on that lake. We have yeah. priorities, and guys. Snorkel! <laughs> <laughs> I really know where to go from there. <laughs> <laughs> I think tomorrow we're gonna said, check out some more restaurants. <laughs> yeah, obviously some more food. I just said slap the like, just did did did. Quiet. Guys, <laughs> we are clearly tired. Oh, Everyone's a little we bit We've had a whole day in the sun. <laughs> whole lot of ice cream. Whole lot of ice cream. Epic parasailing. We hope you enjoyed that adventure. One of the most cool rad things I feel like we've ever done. That was, was very, very awesome. cool. Come back tomorrow. More yes. fun to be had. More food. All the good things. And we'll see you then. We love ya. Bye. <laughs> What up, hello, good morning. I know that's mom's thing normally, but we are in a bit of a predicament to start off this day. We are trying to find a place to stand up paddleboard in the pristine blue waters of Lake Tahoe. However, as you may have seen throughout the vlogs, everyone in the world decided to come to Lake Tahoe for Labor Day weekend. So, we have passed every full parking lot possible. We got up early this morning. We were on site at 9 a.m. It's not even warm enough to get in the water yet, and there is not a place to park for miles. We are off the side of the road, two wheels down the side of a cliff, two wheels on the road. We found one little piece of land, but we're not that close to the water, you guys. The water is quite a ways down there. Bit of a hike through the forest. We've got totes of towels. We've got stand-up paddle boards. We have life jackets. We have a lot to hike down there. But if we want to have fun on the water today, get out there on that blue lake. It's going to take a little bit of work, a little bit of sacrifice. So I'm going to have to tuck this camera into the pack as we all have both of our hands occupied hiking down, carrying things. But I wanted to get things started to show you the situation today, how we're starting this day off. I think it's going to be a huge payday. We might end up at a beautiful spot. It's difficult to get to. Maybe not as crowded as some of the other places that we had to pass by. If you're looking for paradise, we have found it. We hiked down to this little cove. It is unreal. It's actually starting to fill in. It's probably going to get a little bit crowded, but there's just such limited space to actually set up shop. We found this open flat area that we can set our stuff down, blow up our paddle boards with immediate access right into the water. Just go down a couple of rocks, you're in the water. Some of the most beautiful coves and blue see-through spots in the entire lake right here in this area. I can't believe we were able to hike down to this. And our parking spot was as close to the trail as you could get. The trail is fairly short with all of these packs. It's a little bit heavy. Next up guys, we just gotta blow up some paddle boards and get out on this water. I think we could call ourselves good camping here all day. Except for the food situation. You think they door dash to here? Good luck floating on that one. Okay, kids, it's done. The GoPro. Done. Throw it in the water. Sunscreen up, and then I need some help over here. I don't do the hand pumping. Get it, mom. Get it. I do the easy stuff, and when it gets difficult, we bring in the big guns.
<laughs> hey guys, we've got our paddle boards all inflated. We're hiking them down this little rocky trail and into this water. I think this is not cloud cover, guys. I think this is actually smoke cover. It's not the most scenic of days, but still out there on this water. Can't beat this backdrop right here. Little cutouts. Paddle over to some of these rocks. It's gonna be a beautiful day on the lake today. Is this incredible or what? This is so cool. <laughs> so beautiful. The sky's a little bit orange, but it actually looks pretty rad. Mindy has never done a handstand on hard ground, let alone a floating paddleboard. Oh, headstand. So her first attempt at a headstand is on a paddleboard in Lake Tahoe. Here we go. This is going to be the best fail ever. Send it, mom. Send it. Send it. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even look like? Like somebody who's never done a headstand. <laughs> Paddled from our original beach out to this totally new cove, Amazing. new cut out here, new spot. This is incredible. This is one of those spots where you see those scenic pictures of Tahoe. We've got all the rocks around, and you can see straight through to more rocks. Normally, you would have this turquoisey blue today, very hazy, very fog covered. It's mostly smoke from the fires, we're being told, but it makes it so you can't quite get that crisp blue, but it does add to a nice orange sky as we play on the rocks. We're quite a ways from our original spot, though. We are back from our paddle boarding adventure and crew Rex and I are doing a little exploring. We're gonna go walking through these rocks and see if we can find some sick cliff jumping spots here. We saw some guy throw a gainer off of a rock over here. Just grabbing some snacks. The problem with hiking all the way in here with all of that gear and all that stuff, you've really got to want it if you're gonna leave. Whew, that was dangy. Because once you get in here, you're kind of in here. Once you pack out, you're kind of out. You're not gonna just be making any quick trips to go grab some food. We're pounding some snacks over there. Our spot's just over this way. We're doing some exploring over here along the shoreline. With all these rocks you can climb on. I mean, the scenery is just stunning. Beauty. Full 360 degrees everywhere you look. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna hike over. I think we're gonna try and check out if you can get up on these rocks right over here. Try and go here, here, and then maybe we can get up on top of these. I don't know if we want to go all the way out there. Found this pretty rad area right here where you can climb out on the rocks. Obviously not doing any jumping, not cliff jumping into this section, but it's a fun area to explore. So just spending some time out here, rock side. Crew and Brex have become quite the little rock climbing team. Just scouring these rock sides, climbing all over the place. Even Hazy's getting in on the action. Bra guy, what's up bro? Maddie is looking for boys. I don't know what she's doing. Yeah, Maddie. <laughs>
That's the rock the guys are trying to get to right there. Do a quick jump. I don't know if I'm gonna use any of this, but Michelle's taking pictures and I love when she gets these pics of me vlogging, even if it's fake vlogging. Peace. Oh my gosh, he did. Brexton is blowing all of our minds. Brexton and crew as a tag team, just scaling these rocks, running and jumping from one to the other, almost with no thought put into it. It makes you a little nervous, but I do think that he sees his line and he just goes for it. Love seeing the brave side of him come out. Oh my gosh, even Crew's impressed, which I think emboldens and encourages him more because he really wants to impress his big bro. They've become quite the tag team on this trip. And this we've said many, many times is why we do family vacations. For these moments that we are together, building these bonds, these relationships, they're forged in moments like these. The strength that these guys have as a brotherhood, the two of them, is stronger because of trips like this. I hate you guys. And it's the reason we go through the effort, the cost, the time, the prep, everything that goes into putting together family vacation. It's for moments like this. We've had a ton of fun climbing out of here on the rocks, but I think hunger has got the best of us. We got some sick pics, great photos, lots of fun. The kids have been absolutely loving been so climbing cute. all over the rocks. They had more fun These doing this than paddleboarding. We've been here cuddling for forever. Maddie it's been Hazel. adorable. We're gonna pack up our stuff, head out, go grab some food. We'll figure out something to do with the rest of the day, but it has been an incredible yeah, time down here in this area. One thing about packing all the stuff in here, finding this epic secluded location. Now that's secluded today. In the stunning beauty that comes with it. When the time is done, and it's time to go back to the car, you gotta hike it all back out. Rolling up paddle boards, getting some sick drone shots, packing up the bags, and getting ready to head back to the car. Found the perfect burrito joint just back in Kings Beach. Took us a while to get here because traffic around the entire like so slow today. A lot of people are having a great time. This place looks amazing. Look at the size of these burritos. Oh my gosh, that's the size of my thigh. Got a little surf and turf here. Rexy Doodle, what did you get? I got a quesadilla. Pork with quesadilla? Pork. And it's actually kind of good with salsa. Oh, okay. Big, huge burrito over here. Izzy, what did you get? A burrito. Fry guy eating good in the neighborhood. What did you get? Got a burrito with carne asada. Carne asada burrito. Maddie got something that they found in their garden. It's delicious. No, Maddie got a delicious salad looking type thing. It's a tostada. The best part, you guys, is this fun, quaint little cutout where we get to eat back here privately all by it's ourselves. The it's the whole Yes, feeling. it's part of the vibe. Food was delicious. Good little random It was cookies. an amazing find. Mom sleuthed that one out. Perfect spot for dinner tonight. We tried to do some sushi shopping, did not have any luck on that one. There weren't as many souvenir shops along this street as we thought there would be. So the next best thing would be to go get some more ice cream. Ice cream. So off to get some dessert at a fun place called Susie's Scoops, Susie's I believe. Susie's Scoops, we're coming for you. We had a few minutes after our dessert. Everyone else went back to the house, but the kids wanted to go for one last swim. I said, why not catch an epic sunset sesh swim at this little beach really nearby to our house. Yeah. So the kids are gonna swim for a little bit while I edit some 360 footage. Just get that last few moments in the lake as the sun dips in on our last day here in Lake Tahoe. So you guys, let's swim. I'll be chilling right here, okay? Okay, see you guys here.
shutting down on our last night here. Got some late night pizza to wrap things up before we get things packed up. Kids into bed. Yes, I've been working on a little bit of laundry, getting things packed up and finished off. Brandon's been editing. It's ending off on a strong note, but you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us as we've been having fun with the fam. It's been incredible, you guys. This has been an amazing trip from start to finish. Every day I feel like we come back and we're like, oh, this was the perfect day. It was the perfect day. I really and we were was. just out there and Dan and Shell were like asking the kids, what do you think was your favorite day? Was it the jet skiing day, the parasailing day, the paddle boarding and rock climbing day? Every one of the kids was like, eh, how about all of the days? I know, it was so much fun. It's been that amazing of a trip, you guys. So thanks for being a part of it. Thanks for joining us on this journey, hanging out with us all weekend. We head home tomorrow. Yes. Join us for that. You know, that's always something interesting, taking all these kids in a car. Make sure you do come back, you guys. We love you so much, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Let's eat. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hello and good morning, everyone. You guys, good morning from the last morning here in North Lake Tahoe. It's the last day. We're going home. And it's not even like we get a full day here. We have like a nine hour drive plus an hour time change. So 10 hours. Gotta wow. get home at a reasonable time because the kids have school tomorrow. Guys, we're back to normal life. Back to school tomorrow. So we are packing everything up, loading up the cars, and heading out of town. I think we gotta grab some breakfast or something. I think we need some food. And we're gonna try and minimize our stops on the way out of here so we can make a quick, efficient trip home. Similar to the way we got out here. But it's never as fun going home as it is the anticipation of going on a trip. Totally not. And I feel like we really got really lucky with only stopping once on the way here. We're gonna hope for that, but we realize that's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> we'll see though, fingers crossed. Come with us, see how many stops we make and how long it takes us to get home. So this place has nine bedrooms, 11 beds in total. The only checkout requirements are that you turn off all the lights and lock all the doors. There's probably 14,000 light switches. So we're walking around At a minimum. <laughs> trying to find all the light switches. Like each room has like double digits, somewhere between 10 and 12, because there's fans, different types of lights, Maddie. I mean, there's so much stuff in every room. But I didn't have to say, as I'm going around to all these different bedrooms, we got this fun house where everyone could have their own place to stay. The very first night, the first thing the kids tried to do, see which room was big enough to put all three of them in it. So all three of them, all three boys anyway, all wanted to be in the same room. So I ended up taking an a mattress from one of the rooms and putting it into another room on a different level of the house. So we got to return that mattress back to its room. But I love that the vacation started with the kids trying to find a way in a nine bedroom house to fit all of them into one bedroom. Absolutely love that. I love that those are the kind of moments and memories that are shared and created on these vacations. Now it's time to put the house back together, turn off all 14,000 lights and head out on the road. This one? No, this one? Let's turn it off something. These? No, nope, that's on. How do you get those ones off over there? Legit, I haven't even seen this half of the downstairs yet. What's over there? Alright guys, who's ready to hit the road? Woo! Nine hours of fun and food ahead! Yeah! <laughs>
talked about this when we left. We had the new TV put in and it has an HDMI port. And this enables the kids to do four player games on the Nintendo Switch and play them right here on the screen together. Right now they're doing a tournament of Super Smash Brothers. Even Hazy's getting in on the mix. <laughs> just doing her best. I've never played the game and I know they have like edges that you can fall off of. I just keep hearing her say like, oh no, I'm close to the edge. I think I'm gonna fall off. I'm scared. They're having a ton of fun playing some four player Super Smash back there. Crew's out too. Hazy, did you already fall out? <laughs> one more but Hazy, are you having fun? On the, next yeah. round, on the next round, I get back in. Oh, okay, so you get back in next round. This has proved to be oh, a oh, really oh, fun oh, thing oh, to do for the kids oh, back oh, here to be able to play four player games. They've oh, been doing Mario Kart tournaments, some Minecraft, and some other fun things they've been playing the back there. Play but it's been a fun way for them to play games. They've got their individual switches that they can play their individual games on, but they've also come together and they play the four player games, which is a lot of fun. It gets a little bit loud, a little bit crazy in here. I'm just waiting for companies to invest like that limo window yeah. right there. Then if they need something, they can push like the distress button and it comes down and then distress. we can address their needs. And then it just goes right back up and they go back to playing. I think that'd be a fantastic invention if anybody wants to do that. <laughs> Very impressed once again with the kids. We are on stop number one, and once again, we are halfway through our journey back home. So we're stopping in Battle Mountain, Nevada. Quick stop for a potty break, filling up on some gas, maybe grab a treat if we want to. Kind of yep. breaks up the monotony of the trip. But once again, halfway through, like what, four hours into the trip, three yeah. and a half, something like that, then it's our very first stop, which means we are breaking this up perfectly, potentially, right down the middle. If we can make it all the way home from here, we will have made one stop yet again. We can do this. Stay Just don't tuned. get big drinks, okay? <laughs> It just occurred to us that if we do minimize our stops and we do continue home from here, Maddie has been riding in Dan and Shell's car once again. Her car is at their house. We may not see her the rest of this drive, but the goodbye is not that sad. It's not that sorrowful, you guys, because her saying goodbye means going 30 minutes down the road to yeah. college. Could be the last time we see her in the vlog, potentially. So we wanted to, just in case, we do make it all the way home without any stops. We want to say goodbye to Maddie for this trip, for today. But she made the observation she'll probably come by like this weekend or maybe tomorrow, because <laughs> that's the new life, you guys. Maddie in oh, town, yeah. at college, loving every minute of it. Maddie, love you tons. Love you. Drive safe. It was we'll be... a great trip. It was. It was incredible. Yeah. And I love how easy it is for you to just jump in Dan and Shell's car because you're down yeah. the street. Come and join us on these. We're not like flying you out from San Diego to go do something. You're just right here. So I'm loving it. Drive safe. We will see you, I'm sure, soon. The yeah. vlog life. Talk to you along the way. We love you. Okay. Bye. Love you so much. <laughs> No joke, we were 100% sure this was for us. Might still be, well, we'll see. I don't wanna get, oh, it's them. Holy cow, thanks for taking one for the team there, guys. Really Sorry. appreciate that. We've been seeing a lot of this on our drive home. You've got fire EMS from Teton right there, and then this is a fire department in Big Cottonwood, which is actually by my parents' house. But these are firefighters that have gone and left to help fight the California wildfires and are returning back. We've seen just different units from different places all over the West here that are returning home from helping out and fighting those fires, and that was what was causing that smoky haze over Lake Tahoe, the orange glow that you saw in yesterday's video when I went out paddle boarding. I actually just went back and watched that video. It is so orange tinted. It just felt like life had a filter on it. Really cool to see all of these different units. In fact, hey, look, here's right one. here. This is crazy, you guys. Like, Where's not even this one from? Nevada, somewhere fire. I don't know, but coming home after doing rounds, helping out, but it is very cool. That's three in just that, since I picked up the camera, all different places going out to help out. I kind of love that pitching and help that mentality, that brotherhood that they have where they go and they help each other because I'm sure if they were in need, they would like to see some of the firefighters from California come and help them and vice versa. It's pretty rad to see that. I think they've been out helping each other, giving of their time, their trucks, their resources to get those wildfires under control. Just crossed the Utah border back in our home state of Utah now. Yeah. Our minds are starting to move forward to school, getting ready for back to school, going back to class tomorrow. Also, the wind is whipping like crazy here. So I got us thinking, what is the weather gonna be like this week as we go back to school? The wind is nuts here right now, but it's still super hot. It's 97 degrees where we are right now. We checked the temperature for tomorrow, you guys. It is dropping down to a high of 55 degrees. That's a 
40 degree drop. 40 degree drop. High winds, raining all night. Talk about a welcome home from vacation, you guys. We're gonna go home, make sure our patio furniture is still there. Get prepared to throw on the hoodies. You know, that means we can make soup tomorrow night wear a sweatshirt. <laughs> See, there was a positive in all things, you guys. With the colder weather comes hoodies, soup, all the fun fall feels. That's what we're going home to right now. Getting through these 97 degrees, high winds. As we enter the Salt Flats area, just outside of Wendover, on the home stretch now, heading home. It's been a very Woo! mild and decent drive. It's gone fairly quickly. Still only made one stop. Very proud of the family and how they've handled this drive. Mom's been a boss behind the wheel, keeping us safe. I just have control issues and I like to drive. <laughs> and that's not a metaphor. So we did have to make one more potty stop on the way home. Just one. It was critical. It was essential. We nearly made it all the way with one stop only. But two was not that bad, you guys. And we didn't even stop for long. Just a quick in and out. Now we're on the home stretch. The kids watch some shows. They've been enjoying their binders, their switches, all the good things on this road trip. But we're almost home, guys. We are just 40 minutes away from our own beds. Sweet home, baby. You say this every time. There is literally no place like home. As fun as you can it's have. It's just amazing. Like even just pulling into like our area, we just love where we live. Our beautiful little bubble. We come into our house. We're familiar with everything. We talk about how much we love our evenings here in the home, but our routine, guys, our schedule. What's cool is our neighbors behind us just got all their trees and plants and shrubbery. Oh my gosh. We'll show you tomorrow. It's amazing. We gotta but show I said, it to you. Thank you so much for making my backyard look so much prettier. It looks gorgeous, you guys. That was a fun thing to come home to. Got all of our bags out of the car. We have unloaded. The kids are up getting big then ready for bed because we are back to school back to routine tomorrow and we're home at a good time a very reasonable hour and a very successful road trip you guys there and back grateful for that i do have to say though you guys having dan and Shell on these vacations with us is a complete game changer and it's not just the insane photography that we get from michelle because that is why we originally bring her on these trips on these vacations is to capture them and document them in a way only she can it's incredible but on top of that you guys we've said it before daniel is just the greatest uncle with the kids michelle is the greatest <laughs> aunt they dive in they pitch in they help out they're active for participants in everything we do. They're not just along for the ride. They're not just bystanders. They are actively involved in entertaining kids, hanging out with them. They raise the fun level 10 notches oh, everywhere they go. Least. Well, even on the drive home, we asked all the kids what their favorite part of the trip was. And Ryler said being in Daniel and Michelle's car while we were in Tahoe. Because whenever we went from place to place, he would jump in the big kid's car with Maddie, Dan, and Shell. Literally, we said jet skiing, parasailing, paddle boarding. What was your favorite? He said being in the car with Dan and Shell and Maddie. He's like, well, you could do that around this neighborhood, buddy. But <laughs> that is just a testament to what a difference and an impact they make all yeah, these vacations they're so, so, incredible. They're so awesome. we love them like crazy they make all of our vacations that much better and it's just all about family you guys we love being together as a family creating and capturing those memories so thank you guys as part of it our family so fun for being along for the ride, hanging out with us. We hope that you guys enjoyed that. It's back to normal life tomorrow. That can be a lot of fun too, so and make sure you come back. Remember, we have a 40 degree drop tomorrow, so it's <gasps> gonna be a little cold when we wake up. We love you. Thank you for being a part of our family. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye.